Hey Jojo, it's me, your mum. It's so weird thinking that you're going to be grown when you watch this. That you're not going to stay in my happy little chunk forever. I took you to see the ducks yesterday. <laughs> I just love that even though we've been a million times, every time your face just lights up and you get so excited. It must be so nice to see the world like that. Just full of fun and possibility. That's one of the things that I've been dreading the most since I had you, is the day that that happy little bubble bursts. I remember when it happened to me. I was in primary two, and one of the big kids called me a bad word. The bad word. I just remember feeling so confused when your grand tried to explain it to me. Trying to explain to a kid that they might be treated differently just because of the colour of their skin. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Especially with all the horrible stuff that I've been seeing in the news. I mean, it's awful. But I feel like it's really forced people to take notice. Even the mums at our group have been asking what they can do to support us. How they can help make this world a better place for people like you and me. It would be nice, wouldn't it? So I was back at mum and baby group again today, but things were different. I mean, a few weeks ago, all the mums were so fired up about everything and now they're just back to competing over whose kid's almost walking or who's about to say their first word. Just normal. And don't get me wrong, it's not that I think they don't care. I guess they have the luxury of forgetting about it, putting it to the back of their mind and worrying about all the millions of other things that mums have to worry about. But I can't do that. I mean, this is my reality. And I'm scared that it's going to be yours one day too. That no matter how hard I try, you might go from being this cute little guy who everyone coos over to somebody that they see as a threat. <sighs> it terrifies me, Joseph. It's supposed to be the baby who's up at night, but there you are next door, fast asleep, while I'm up tossing and turning. Being a mum, it doesn't feel real sometimes. I mean, having a baby used to seem so far in the future that I thought things would be different by then. That I wouldn't have to have the same conversations that your gran had with me. But here you are and doesn't seem like much has changed at all. I guess it was just nice to hope for a while. Hope that you'd never have to run home crying, wondering why all the racist names were only aimed at you. Or pretend not to see the weird looks you get when you go on a bus or go on a shop. Hope that I'd only have to worry about the police if you'd actually done something wrong. Or that the words that your gran used to say to me might actually come true. That skin colour really doesn't matter. But, turns out it still does. And it probably always will. Your gran caught me crying last night. I didn't want to talk to her, but somehow it just all came out. And she actually listened to me. She just sat down and let me get it all out. And then she said something that I didn't expect. She said that she understood. That she's got the similar fears to me because, well, she's the mum of a mixed race kid too. I guess I never really thought about it that way. She told me that I need to stop expecting things to just change overnight. It's too big. And I asked her, well, how do you get over that fear that nothing's going to change? She 
said she hasn't, but she just channeled it into something positive, raising me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna support you, and I'm gonna raise you to be the kind of person that I hope everyone will be one day. <laughs>